Hi all, I'm Arvind Padian. In today's video, we're going to see a stock named Reluxo Footwash Limited. So this is a high potential stock. I see a great opportunity when we buy this stock. I'll explain in detail each and every point. So stay connected till the end of video. Before that, if you're new to our channel, haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon so we get all our videos on time. So let's start with our wasting. So to give you some background, Relaxo is 2,653 uh, crore uh, revenue based company. It's a footwear based company and it's the largest footwear maker in India by volume and it's the second largest uh, by revenue, right? Okay, so we know something about uh, Relaxo now, uh, what it does and uh, so it has also brand ambassadors like Salman Khan, Akshay uh, and Katrina and so on. So the other thing I want to highlight is like the, this Relaxo has different brands under them, um, 10 different brands I would say like Flights, Sparks and so on, Bahamas, you might have and Schoolmate also, these are very well known brands. Just to give you some info, uh, you might have seen this in malls and so on. So just to give you some picture on which company we are talking about and i'll also try to explain you uh, how they are placed in the market and um, uh, look at this this particular company has a market share of around 20 percent so which is huge and it, they are they are expecting it to grow also but they have some concerns on the financials which i will try to show you that's the only concerning part for me but other parts of bright and gloom uh, so let's proceed further so if you look at this, this particular chart is very helpful uh, in comparing with other peer companies. So the major peer, I would say Bata India Campus, you might have known these names, Liberty also, Kadim also. And look at the revenues, consolidated revenues they have been generating. So for Relaxo, it's 2,800 something. And Bata, it's, uh, it's a leader, of course, 3,451. And uh, you would see uh, on top, uh, the top player, you will see the, the, the Relaxo brand. And um, of course, it had an overvaluation of 147p. Right now, when you look at the stock, it will be around 100p, uh, 100, 102. So, which is also uh, the reason the stock has corrected because it was overvalued at one point. It's a small cap, and that's why I see a huge opportunity in gaining. Um, in in short period, like uh, before some time, uh, mutual funds and other big investors were investing. The only reason they would have inv uh, invested is because of company and they would have existed, uh, existed uh, because they look for short term gains and um, they have to show revenue growth to their customers in short term. If they are not showing revenue, then the customers uh, who have invested in those mutual funds would be uh, you know, frustrated and getting angry, well, you don't give any returns, I'll go to, so they have uh, strict uh, guidelines to follow to show profits all time. But we as retailer don't need to show because you have to have conviction and buy those shares, right? So as we proceed, uh, so uh, we talk about mutual funds, holdings and so on. So foreign institutions has a very consistent holding of about 3%, which is good. And mutual funds, above uh, they have been consistently increasing very slowly but they have reached 90.2 which is a very very good sign because this is very very good company i'll show you in technical charts uh, uh, on why i'm very um, liking this company and the reason i making video on this particular stock right and uh, domestic institutions not a major chunk very very minor quantity but promoters has been holding a very huge about 70 percent is is a really good quantity and uh, despite small cap the company has been also giving a very good dividend i always like the company who give a good dividend and also the in the price actions we could enjoy the ride right so you get double the marker so it's always better to have stocks like this but you don't get always a good store with good dividends consistent dividend that's most important when you look for stocks and again this is not one stock you should have in portfolio only you should have a diversified portfolio always and this is cyclic business and of course there are time periods when the stock will not run for five years then it will run for four years this will happen in pharma this will happen in um, these uh, cyclic businesses also uh, one, one of the cyclic businesses this one fertilizers also is, uh, is one of the cyclic uh, uh, business so you have to understand before you invest right now it's a, it's in the bunny period what do you mean by bunny period the stock doesn't move it would correct uh, at a smaller range then you have the opportunity to, to buy at a good price then um, you you have to just uh, do a weight gain 
game uh, weight game is not for uh, you know uh, multi fold years but you have to have some patience when you trust a company and when uh, i'll i'll show you some facts also from moving forward right and uh, these are some other uh, brands uh, i already highlighted the names so, so i just wanted to show you what kind of slippers shoes the company makes right and um, shockingly the company has been doing well in a covid period and they have been uh, compared to its peers they have been making good revenues but they were not consistent now there are some sluggish it's not moving well the financials are not too great but um, i expect it to get better in upcoming years right so we have to give some time to them and i also wanted to show you some important factors how they do business so uh, this comparison is between bata and uh, relaxo when you look at uh, these two comparisons the red one is relaxo uh, you would clearly see it does a, a lot of wholesale and retail they do have shops just like i showed you some time back bata has a more retail kind of thing e-commerce also it's doing more than bata just that you know and um, we saw about it some um, uh, market cap revenue and so on uh, the five years kaga has been always better than bata look, look at that look at these values compared to uh, bata so they have been very good uh, compared to uh, ebitda roa return on equity so those all are very good values but i don't like in short term three years kaga was bad i'll show you those values also very shortly and um, when you look at the market how big is the market how uh, how big it could grow why do you need to invest in a slipper um, of footwear industry why can't i uh, invest in um, you know fmcg or manufacturing or uh, automobile or it and so on right you have to invest it's not a question why why should i invest there when i see opportunity it's not like that as i said every stock is cyclic when i say every stock when the cyclic uh, the the sector based things are very cyclic so let's assume uh, automobile sector so automobile sector has also paint paints involved crank shafts involved uh, high precision elements involved um, and um, also tire rubber companies involved semiconductors involved so one something impacts the automobile impacts the other proxy companies also and they go into a sluggish mode you have to understand that very clearly and when you look at this uh, footwear it's also sluggish now it doesn't mean the market will behave bad will will be like this forever it will turn around right so the the expectation is 2020 to 15 billion company 15 billion dollar company but um, uh as a as a industry i talk about in 2029 it's expected to be 35 billion so 35.43 billion so that's very huge market in india so that's the expectation so when these industry go of course when we are invested in these kind of stocks we will also get a very good decent returns that's the expectation and uh, i talk about this the 3 year kaga i was not happy net profit and ebitda margin but 5 years were okay but i expect uh, this company to do better in upcoming years right so that's the expectation uh, expectation that's why we are plan- planning and trying to invest in this particular stock if you look at this this article also will talk about this and the whole footwear category we have seen the sentiments are not that great the rural market is definitely not responding so they they have been not able to sell as they have been expecting to sell as simple as that that's what has happened so it will not remain like this that also you have to understand right and um, okay as we move forward um, okay how about the depth of the company it's 0.01 which is also decent so we uh, this is also giving me a little confidence okay uh, this company has little depth uh, but very reasonable uh, lesser than one uh, debt to equity ratio which is good uh, okay and the other factors i want to highlight is the um, big names in here icici motel also sbi uh, and uti uh, sbi magna midcap so they are invested even in last uh, quarters so they have increased their stakes meaning they are expecting something so i already highlighted you mutual funds or short term plays they expect something they wanted to make some returns so they could show the investors so you have to plan put some money and average later when it falls later but that's how even mutual funds are doing they don't put all in one time look at the uh, stages they have been increasing quarter and quarter because it's a huge chunk also and um, as we move on okay let me show you some of the other new arrivals so the company has been working on their new models also expanding their businesses so th- th- those all things i like um, they have expanded in um, rajasthan the bought 30 acres of land for their expansion right 
So these are all again uh, good factors of the company. Uh, some of the targets, if you look at uh, Motela also, I have given some an empty target. Uh, what's the current price? Uh, uh, current price is eight. So they are expecting a drop. So that is fine. Uh, so things like these, uh, each research institute give their own targets, but you should not be worried when you have conviction, right? You will still see some of the mutual funds holding it, right? They have conviction in that. So mutual funds also differ between them. So some mutual funds have a different opinion. Else. Um, you will just see uh, no one will invest uh, agreed upon one thing. Everyone will have uh, different opinions. So that's something I want to highlight. And uh, uh, also access securities have a target of 1020. Okay. So how about us? What, what do we think on that particular share? This is very interesting part. Look at this. So pay attention, very important point. The stock on a overall could correct up to 55%. Right now it has corrected up to 48%. So this is what, so plus, uh, see, you have, you have to understand both the sides, right? How much depth, how much up, upper side it could go. Then we could be planned. So you, when you jump into it, you could also, uh, you know, get not get too much damage, right? And uh, one more very important point I want to highlight here is like when it was in a bullish run. Uh, so seven years the stock did well. So seven years the stock did well. Three years of correction from 2021 the stock has been correcting. So you have to understand this, uh, you know, the cycle there. So th these uh, mutual funds are very clever people. They understand these cycles. But we as retailers, we only uh, we invest uh, when the when there is uh, some rise. We may think, okay, it's rising now. Let's invest there. It's not like that. Every sector is cyclic. When in a bull run, it corrects and then runs um, again, again, again. But um, in a, sl a sluggish move, it it will have its own cycle. So that's what you have to understand. There are two opportunities. Uh, one, it could go a little uh, sideways and then start to move up. Or it would be there for some months uh, in sideways and then it would move up. This is green, this is uh, black. I have highlighted just to show you some expectations that you should have in mind. And uh, when it corrects, it could correct up to more, uh, another 21%. Then you have to average at this point. So this is a strategic plan I'm trying to highlight you. So correction was due to high valuation that we have noticed. When company does well, again, it will shoot up. So right now the figures are not too great. So that's why they have suppressed it. Mutual funds, so another important point you have to understand is mutual funds are still holding about 9%, which is very huge quantity. And when you're holding it, you have, could get these targets, right? And up to 50%, you could easily get. That's my expectation. Even I am expecting, and I'm also invested in this particular stock. The thing I'm trying to highlight to you here is um, you don't depend on one stock. Pick stocks like this, invest in these stocks, and then um, uh, see. Uh, you cannot wait for one cycle to com uh, complete, but um, in a cyclic way, in a systematic way, invest in one stock, you are fine now this, invest in this. This is just a suggestion for knowledge, right? So you decide for your own. And later you find something else, you invest in that. So in, so in a year or two, something else will give you returns. And uh, in, a, uh, in a year, something else will give you returns. That's how you manage. Right? Yeah, I hope you're getting it. If you're not understanding, uh, let me know in the comments. Then I would be happy to help you there. Thank you so much for watching the whole video. Take care. See you next video. Bye.